Hello and welcome, fellow survivors, to another TWD episode. <laughs> TWD episode. This is our breakfast morning club with Sir Hunter, and we're going to be going over the new version patch notes. And actually, you guys couldn't even see my screen, so here we are. We're back. We're good to go. And um, fix that. You know, we don't do too many edits these days. Just we're pressed for time. We're going to speed run this, guys. We got it. We got it. So what's new? I'm starting it off here. New season map. Areas and passages beta testing in effect for players that enter season six, seven, or eight. Current season will not be affected. So adding a new season map, and it's called areas and passages. Possibly confusing. We'll see what Sir Hunter has on that after we get through this. War packed areas. Each war pack lands in their own area located in the outer range of the season map areas are separated by mountain ranges and you can't yet build expedition outposts or bases in the areas of other war packs but you can relocate relocate to them interesting so we got some more terrain talk here for war packs um on the outer ranges of the seasonal map so we won't see this for quite some time on the channel because we are playing in server 666 if you guys don't know that the uh, new building called Passage. Passages are... Wait, let me scroll through this. Okay, yeah, they got bulletin points, so we're good. New building, Passage. Passages are located in the mountain ranges on the borders between areas. Once a war pack owns a passage, owns a passage, they can build clan buildings in the area across the mountains. First, your war pack must build territory and connect with a passage. Then they can try to occupy the passage, and if they succeed, they can become the owner of the passage. Each time ownership of a passage changes, the passage needs to be rebuilt by the new owner. It's a lot of passages. The other war pack cannot attack the passage, attack the clan buildings, or build their own clan buildings in the area of the war pack that is rebuilding the passage. <laughs> if your war pack owns at least one passage, to another war pack's area, they can build expedition outposts in that area. If your war pack owns at least one passage to the central area, they can build both expedition outposts and expedition bases in that area. Losing the pass passage to an area means losing the ability to build, but any territory connected to an expedition base in the central area will be in effect. Now, that's a lot of information on passages. Basically, I think um, you got... You got a passage, and you got a not passage. <laughs> Sir Hunter, <laughs> please. Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> so um, we have more info on uh, S7 servers that are going into S8. Uh, on the built-in board, I sent you an image in uh, DMs. We can see how the map will look like. There's multiple red dots, which I presume will be the passages. And you can clearly see that the map is divided in four parts. There's the central part and three uh, parts on uh, uh, the border of the map. And each war packs will have one area assigned to them. And I think it's a good thing because now, if you are a weaker server, you still have your own space for the time being. So you can uh, grow, get uh, comms, camps, and you, know, you can maybe leave towards another place uh, if you are getting pursued by other people. So this will be very interesting uh, once uh, we, in uh, 666, get to season 6, 7, 8. But um, this, I, I, can't, I can't wait, because it's going to be something amazing. And you know, it's so far in the future. <laughs> At the same time, it's near, near me, because I have an account in S7. Yeah. I, I can't wait to, to see how it looks like live. I'll have to go back on my other account to check that out. Yeah, actually, I'm pulling it up here, looking at the uh, new map hill view, and I have it up on the stream. I had to take a little second as you were kind of going through that so we could see what this actually looks like. But it is quite interesting. Looks like there's like three possible passages here, right? And then there's like, there's like, there's a lot going on here. Sections are separated by each, by yeah, the mountain ranges interesting so that's cool i wonder if that's gonna be like a little 300 type like scene like you got like a choke point and then you got to like push through the choke so that's kind of cool that's a new uh, seasonal thing you know exciting future future yeah, something really amazing that the devs have just made can't wait to see it in action though absolutely all right so that's passages let's go on to number two here sir hunter take it away yeah so number two revamp and remain rename of clan legends the new name is striving forces the event will be uh, in beta test from may 29 for all regions about striving force 
The event no longer works with missions you need to claim first. Therefore, the test token item has been omitted from the event, along with the test token ranking and its rewards. The tasks uh, are fixed, but there's a maximum number of time you can complete them. You can use a new item mission sheet to increase this maximum number of times. You get rubies and points for completing the missions. Milestone rewards are no longer based on your clan progress, but on your own progress. Rewards include fragments of Sniper Andrea and Gold Worms Dwight on Machine S7. The individual and clan point rankings are still there and are unchanged. Players who still have task token from clan agents will see them automati automatically converted into mission sheets. So about the driving force, I had the chance to try it and I like it. It's basically just play and claim. So there's is there nothing changed then from this little patch note to Thriving Forces? Is it like the way that it was when it first came out? Like I cuz I have played a little bit with it. Like you could spend like X amount of gems and you complete it like 3, 4, 6 times and all you do is click the one button, it claims all the rewards for you and you don't have to worry about, you know, the yeah, the the old yeah, clan I'm legend missions. Sure it's the same thing. Yeah. Uh, the why they put it all here, it's because it's going to be uh, for all servers. Oh! So just, like, refreshing our memory. Oh! I kind of forgot from the previous patch notes. Oh, but, so good. Uh, this, uh, I think it's an upgrade, personally. Oh, yeah, it uh, is. I don't know about everyone, but just being able to play and claim, it's nice. The only thing I have to say about this is there's no mission about killing walkers, mm. which there was in Clan Legends. Mm. So they should add this. So we could have all the missions from Clan Agents to Driving Forces. Yeah, it's really important. It's yeah. really good, and I think it's just an upgrade overall. Love it. Love it, for sure. So, yeah, there's Thriving Forces, guys. Ten days from the release of this video. Actually, probably nine. I'll upload it tomorrow at noon. Um, but we're going to move on here. We're a little bit pressed for time. So number three, optimizations in the last one standing. You get one reload, random relocation for free to use before the first time the super herd of walkers move there's a button on the main interface to make use of it so this is last one standing guys lms uh you know last one standing uh, abandoned towns are displayed as loot boxes to make them more recognizable so that's interesting i have seen um some changes i feel like i'm not sure if the shield works yet i've hit people with the shield i, I still am kind of up in the air i think they could do a lot more with with uh Last one standing, as good as it is, there's still a lot of cool interfacing that they need to add. But um, players who don't play last one standing a certain minimum of times per week will get a certain season point deduction. Okay, fair is fair. They want to promote activity. And so they're just optimizing last one standing here. You get one extra random relocation for free to use before the first time of the super herd. So that's when the zone starts closing in. And, you know, we get a new little UI display and... And they just kind of delineated further the um, the punishment for not playing consistently. Consistency is key in TWS. Remember that, guys. And then, uh, yeah. One thing about abandoned towns, uh, the, I think the reason why they put it as loot box, if you claim them, I think they're gonna disappear. Yeah. Unlike previously, it they were. They just, just stayed, and you would have to click it. There. Yeah, I, I would check, and I would like click to see if it was there. And it was kind of frustrating because that does feel like some sort of interfacing issue. So I'm glad that they're yeah. kind of working that out with the loot boxes. Um, number four. So number four added six new dogs. What? Six great new dogs are in the animal shop: the mastiff, what? Boxer, shepherd, game corso, and great dane. The new dogs are all all share the same attributes. So this is amazing. I, I have only one thing. I do hope they change the daily quest to add more variety uh, to the dogs. Ah, uh, yeah. And even animals that are dogs that we can get daily. I do hope they change six of them so we can get all of them yeah, they daily every day. Yeah, and maybe even a reduction in the um, gem cost for like buying an animal, having like free to play players shell out 600 gems a day to complete that. And I don't think many understand that's probably not a good thing to spend your gems on as a free play player as well. So it makes it kind of um, not feel so great even if they could reduce it just a little bit or even change that whole quest because I don't think it belongs in dogs and dogs is an investment thing. It's a time thing. It's a consistency. Keep going. Keep building those dogs up in time. You will get there, but definitely doesn't lighten the load costing that 600 gems for that single quest where the rest is, you know, like 50 gems or some, something like that to just do four. But number five, 
Number five, new way to acquire top tier vehicles. Added a new item, a vehicle token. You can exchange 30,000 of this token in the vehicle interface for top tier vehicles such as uh -huh. this truck. These tokens can be obtained from the cumulative top up event opening again late in May. All right. So this yeah. <laughs> news for 99 for spenders. one for small spenders. Wait, I thought this is this is this is talking about the uh, top tier vehicle such as police trucks because i did yeah, notice so that if you get like a duplicate police truck so you say you complete a cumulative and you max it out and then the next one comes out and you max that one out again it did say like it gives you thirty thousand tokens so they're kind of almost just doubling down on this i feel like there was already a system that kind of existed but this is the actual exchange of an extra police truck or something i believe so well so this i believe it's a new currency that will be added in all the milestones as you progress and when you get 30k of that uh, ah. uh, new type of money, you can buy ah. uh, the police truck, uh, the no truck, no way, no way, no way. So hard to stop it. No way, stop. You can't be telling me this. This is too much. This is too good for us. This is too good. TWS, calm this down. It's better for smaller spenders. Yeah, this you is don't have huge. To spend three thousand dollars anymore. Yes. Top vehicle. Oh, bro, my TV is getting a fucking. Or excuse me, a, a freaking uh, he, a police truck. Maybe we'll see. It's in the. It's in the works. To see how much we gain, and if it's really each uh, milestones. But this is a good news. Very good news. Take that one to the bank. <laughs> All right, number six, other adjustments. Chemistry group adventure. Lara can now take Rick's place in Hometown Heroes. <gasps> That's really cool. The Hometown Heroes are Rick, Militia Rick, Adventure Lara, Morgan, plus Shane, Aaron, Shane. Ooh, 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 wait. And replace, mm, so Shane, Aaron, Shane, Morgan. Okay, so now you could you could replace it. You can make two different ones with it. That's interesting because I always wanted to use Adventure Laura that I do have her five stars, but I couldn't really find a good way to use her. But this might bring her back into it. That's great news. All right, we got the Whispers. The Whispers are now rank, uh, ranking rewards for the top 20 in your clan was top 10. Okay, so they've extended those rewards. Yes, uh, I think this is for the Whispers bus clan ranking, not uh, inside your own clan. I think it's a small typo or translation issue, but uh, when you are beating Whispers Boss, there's clan rankings uh, from one to ten are getting rewards. Now it's top twenty, so I think it's just an improvement for more clans to get rewards, because in later seasons there's a lot of clans that are really strong and it might be hard to uh, rank. Mm-hmm. All right, and I hate to cut you here short, Sir Hunter, but this is gonna have to. I do have a meeting here. I know we were kind of on the same, you know, pace here, well, and I think we understand we're going challenge. through. Let's go. Knife challenge. Hiss up. <laughs> yeah, knife challenge will also include uh, whispers and freedom fighter uh, from season four and beyond. It's going to include the uh, advanced fragments. Uh, this will be uh, starting after the update. Uh, dogs, they are improving the growth of the initial multiplier, so Ooh. it's uh, more stable. Uh, survivor reset. You have now five free reset. For survivors that are level 30 and under so if you messed up by starting to level up the wrong survivor you can reset it five times oh three. yes and it's five times only nice uh, after that uh, they're fix uh, fixing some bugs um from uh, the display of skill badge information from the animal skill book and in duels, they're removing the floating text that says open. Oh, thank, thank baby Jesus that they did that one. That's great. Duels removed from floating text opponent switch. That was the bane of my existence for so many years. <sighs> well, now it's gone. Yeah, this is a forced update, so you will need to update your guys' games, guys. Thank you so much for your support. Stay safe. And the Brom TV team. Peace. Peace. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. Good, good job. Boom.